I feel like I definitely learned a lot about Chinese Canadian history and heritage and the fact that we got to go to Kaiping was very special as well because even though I don't have family who are from there, I think going back to this hometown of overseas Chinese where a lot of the early Chinese migrants originated from was very special as a Chinese Canadian. My name is Jenny Liu and I just graduated from the Global Resource Systems program in Land and Food Systems. I think as an LFS student, I've learned a lot about food systems and local food and the importance of local food. But I think one thing that I felt has been missing is that cultural heritage piece because as a Chinese Canadian, I haven't really been able to find a lot of myself represented in like the so-called local food movement, whether that's like Chinese vegetables, but also deeper things like what are my family traditions and what is my heritage and why don't I see that in the local food scene. When I heard about this course and how it was connecting food systems, food ways, but also tying that in with migration, especially Chinese Canadian migration, I was very interested and wanted to learn more. After our course, five of us had the chance to work at BVM, Burnaby Village Museum, working on some projects having to do with Chinese Canadian history, specifically at um, a Chinese herbalist shop and at a Chinese market garden exhibit. So my friend Stephanie and I actually piloted a project in the garden. There was a story garden where we shared stories about Chinese Canadian history, especially Chinese Canadian farmers, as well as a story harvest station where people could have a space to share their own food and migration stories. I feel like the project that me and Stephanie worked on really focused on storytelling and empowering people to see their own stories that is important and relevant as well as part of a bigger picture. So I feel like that really came from what we learned in Kaiping about where these first Chinese Canadian farmers came from and the knowledge and, and techniques that they brought with them. And that really made us want to make that connection between Metro Vancouver's Chinese Canadian history and community with Kaiping. I think I definitely want to continue working in, in food systems and also to bring that cultural heritage lens in as well. Through this course, I've found a community of people working in the area of, of Asian Canadian, Asian migration studies and community work. So I'm really excited to connect food systems, sustainability and people's cultural heritage. <laughs>